And the Air Force is now investigating how the suspect was able to get a gun after he was charged and convicted with domestic abuse, something he should not have been able to do under federal law. This as we learn more about how he was stopped and the massive amount of ammunition he used in the bloodshed. This morning, new details are emerging about the massacre at this small Texas church. Investigators say the gunman, Devin Kelly, unloaded hundreds of rounds, emptying 15 magazine clips from an assault rifle like this one, all while dressed in black and, according to authorities, wearing a face mask with a white skull on it. I can tell you that the scene in there is horrific, is not even a word to describe it. Police now suggesting Kelly's attack on the First Baptist Church may not have been random, and questions are being raised about whether Kelly may have been targeting his mother-in-law, who was a member of the church but was not there on Sunday. We know there was conflict between the fam families, yes, and whether that was revenge or not it would be spe speculation on my part. More than two dozen parishioners were killed in the rampage, nearly half of the victims children. All of them gunned down during a sermon like this one last week. Rosanna Salas, a grandmother of four, was shot but survived by hiding under a pew. Could see him, uh, uh, his feet walking back and forth and through the aisles. I didn't want to get shot in the head because he was going to see me. I knew it. Officials say after he left the church, the suspect was confronted by an armed neighbor, Stephen Williford who shot Kelly in the torso and lay. And every time I heard a shot, I knew that that probably represented a life. I was scared to death. After a high-speed chase, the gunman would fire his last shot, a bullet to his own head. But authorities now say Kelly should have never been able to legally purchase the assault rifle and two handguns discovered in his SUV. In 2012, the former Air Force service member was convicted of assaulting his wife and fracturing his baby stepson's skull. The domestic violence conviction should have made it illegal for Kelly to purchase weapons. But in a statement released late Monday, the Air Force admits Kelly's court-martial was never entered into the National Criminal Database, a mistake the Department of Defense is now reviewing. At a somber vigil overnight, the two heroes credited with stopping the bloodshed share a warm embrace. Two men that save lives as others are still fighting for their own. Police are now mapping out the crime scene today. Investigators say after the suspect was shot during that high speed pursuit, he called his father before he took his own life. Investigators say the suspect's family is cooperating. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.